We're actually heading to Africa tomorrow, which is a really weird thing to say. Going where the fair winds blow, our home is where the waters flow. We'll show you what we've come to know on board while sailing wisdom. like the Torre Tavera really characterized the town of Cadiz because Cadiz was the most important port town in Spain in the 18th century. It's where all the trading took place between America and Spain and so many other countries. And so there are only 133 of these house towers left. The one we just climbed is the tallest one left in the city. And the people would have these on their houses as watchtowers to see the ships coming into port. Right there is the Mercado Central, where we were the other day and got our tuna. We're up on the Torre Tavira, and it's a beautiful 360 view of the whole city of Cadiz almost see our boat under the bridge, but not quite. But the light is hitting the white building so beautifully right now. It's a really good time to come up. We're here in the Cathedral of Cadiz, and it's really beautiful. It's quite vast. section were begun in 1670 and finished in 1701 or 1702. But either way, that artisan and carpenter spent 30 years on one project. That is some serious dedication. But in the end, his work is still here going on 400 years later. So definitely create a timeless masterpiece. This massive altar is completely made out of silver. It's five meters tall. It's like about 15 feet tall. All silver. The top piece alone took 16 years to make. Masons would have lodge meetings down in a secret cave that was in there. 
Now, unbeknownst to the church, there was a church above it, but there was a secret cave that went down below. And then, you know, hundreds of years later, the church found that this cave existed, and uh, let's just say that they took over it, and then they beautified it and made it a, another chapel down there. And it was no longer a little secret Masonic Lodge spot. <laughs> But it's uh, it's just really cool and like this. Uh, it was just so beautiful in there. It also contains three gorgeous paintings by Francisco Goya. Yeah, so there's a whole lot going on here, and it's got you know the uh, the underground side to it as well. So we've been walking about two kilometers from the dinghy dock to town every time we've been going into Cadiz. And Maddie pointed out, hey, let's take that bus that we always see while we walk forever. seen all that we set out to see in Cadiz. Right now we are waiting for a weather window to head to Tangier and in the meantime we're using this opportunity to edit a lot of videos for you guys. Herbie just made some awesome looking bread. I'm gonna make some eggs and even though it's a really beautiful day and it hurts to stay inside we've got a lot of work to do so duty calls. We're gonna make yogurt mason jar volume. And the best part about making it with mason jars is then it's already in a container so it's ready to go into your fridge. Now, it doesn't matter if whatever culture you're using is your favorite because I can tell you, like, this stuff I think is disgusting. I just ate one and it made my stomach hurt because it was so sweet. It honestly felt like I was eating coconut pudding. So now the milk's really going. It's uh, so it's it's getting there. So at this point, you gotta give it a real close eye because the next step is uh, those little bubbles start forming. Well, today is our last day here in Cadiz in Spain. We're actually heading to Africa tomorrow, which is a really weird thing to say. We're gonna be going to Tangier. It's gonna be a really kind of long trip for 50 miles because without our motor working at, up to snuff, we wanna arrive in really calm weather. So today, uh, we're gonna be preparing for that journey by doing a few errands on shore and making sure we're completely ready to go. Our first order of business is going to be to find a chandlery because we need flags for Morocco and Gibraltar. And the rest of Europe. And the rest of Europe. 
Okay, we struck out. The chandlery was closed, so we're grabbing some dinner while we're here in the old town for the last time. Then we're gonna go get some groceries. And we're uploading four more videos for you guys. Today is our final journey into Cadiz to grab some last minute items we need for the trip. And it is foggy. Good thing for Navionics. total bust. Uh, we walked all over creation and finally found what might have been a chandlery but it was just a bunch of old stuff for resale. So no flags, no courtesy flags and uh, we emailed the Moroccan marina. They know we're coming. We emailed them all of their, our stuff and they have been uh, very communicative. So we're not too worried about not having the flag when we get there, but we will be getting one upon our arrival. The good news is the fog has cleared up and we're ready to get the boat all set to go. Now we're going to be sailing off our anchor and then drifting out of the harbor with the tide. This is by far my favorite jerky. We both mission? have food poisoning. Yeah. So we're both not doing well. Which we're really excited we can see the landscape of Morocco. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And if you'd like to follow our journey in real time on a map, receive postcards from our ports of call, and message us directly to the boat, you can go ahead and become a patron using the link in the description down below.